Hey guys, welcome to another PFR report. I'm uh, Eric Wilson, field agronomist for Bex Hybrids, and today I'm with uh, Miles McGovney. He's our PFR agronomist down at our Colfax site. We wanted to give you guys a post-harvest update on our land roller study. So Miles, give me a little setup of this study. Where, why do we uh, start this one? What's the reasoning behind it? I know we did another video on this before, but uh, elaborate on that a little bit. Yes, yeah, so like Eric said, we actually, uh did do a video here earlier uh, this spring to kind of highlight what we were doing in this study. And basically what we were trying to test is uh, to see if the land roller was going to provide any kind of yield benefit, uh, more so just because we've had some questions asked um, by other farmers about it. And so we wanted to see, you know, other than just being able to push down rocks, you know, if we could get an actual yield benefit from it. So so what kind of, what were we thinking would happen when we initially set this study up? So what we initially thought would happen was, is, you know, we'd roll the soybeans, you know, once they got, you know, V1, V2, and V3, and we would break that apical meristem to promote branching. Um, that's, that's not exactly what happened, uh, but we did see some sort we did see some form of branching. Okay, I, I, this is a great question. I get this question a lot in the springtime. So, so what did we see happen, Miles? It, it wasn't, <laughs> wasn't a pretty sight, was it? No, so what actually happened was, and granted, this isn't recommended by the manufacturer, but since we like to test things to the extreme here in PFR, uh, we actually you know, went ahead and tested this at, at, at V2 and V3. And what we saw was even rolling in the afternoon air, it was a lot warmer climate. Um, even though we were we were rolling in that sort of environment, we were actually seeing a reduction in stand. So a lot of those plants actually snapped off at the base instead of at the apical meristem. And so we did see about a 30% reduction in stand at those V2 and V3 timings. That's pretty critical at that early growth stage. I mean, it probably had some effects on row closure, light interception, I would imagine, Miles? Yeah, so definitely. And actually, um, as you can see in this preliminary data, um, we did lose some yield at those timings, uh, but we could probably attribute that to reduction of stand, uh, which is gonna cause a decrease in light interception, decrease in canopy enclosure early in season. So after it's all kind of wrapped up, I know we're still kind of hashing out results. Where, where are we gonna land with this? What are we, what are we recommending if, you know, if, you're, if you're gonna use a, a roller on your mm -hmm. soybeans? So still the main purpose is gonna be just to you know, roll the ground, just to make it a better environment to plant and to harvest in, um, not necessarily as a yield enhancement tool, but just to make um, farming a little bit easier for you if you do uh, run into scenarios with large rocks in your field. So pushing rocks down, increased harvestability. That yep. makes sense. Well, with that, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, this has been another uh, PFR report on our uh, land roller study, just to give you a post-harvest update. If you got any comments, please uh, comment below, uh, hashtag AskPFR, and, and please like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Thank you.